fazer o bem É assim desde o começo Ela traz essa herança do berço Seu carinho não falta a ninguém Hi, Danny Dwarf here. Today we're going on an adventure. Where? To the urban jungle. That's right downtown. What city? Chi-town. Chicago. What are we going to see? Who knows? A breakdancing tin man? A controversial author on a soapbox? P perhaps a xylophone made of miter saw blades? You'll just have to stay tuned to find out. One thing I can guarantee is mucho cuteness. All aboard! <laughs> Hey, Sai, when you hold on to these, hold on to something, like over there on the left, grab that thing. So my plan was to take the Metra to the Blue Line, to the Red Line, to the park to meet up with some friends. But once we got to Union Station, my wife was like, why don't we just walk? And I was like, sweet, more footage for the vlog. <laughs> Can we please? I can't be me No, we live here again. Oh yeah, doggy. Yeah. Yeah. So soon after departing on our two mile trek or however long it was, uh, my son had enough of the stroller. So he wanted to get out. And of course he ended up in daddy's arms because he's not the kind of kid that you can hold hands with and he will never walk in the direction you want him to go. So I carried the little guy and, um, and he is, I mean, he's a little toddler, you know. <clears throat> I carried, uh, two summers ago, I carried my daughter who is very big for her age all over Manhattan for like four days without a stroller. And that was no problem compared to this. Aiden does not sit in your arms like a normal kid. You know, he either he either needs to be sitting like he's in a throne looking out, you know, in the direction you're going. Or in this case, he likes to um, stand on your spleen, lean out like he's windsurfing, and punch you in the larynx from time to time. And it's not because he wants me to put him down. Okay, he's got a different move for that. He does this like slither thing, like, you know, and there's no way you can hold on to him. He just, that wasn't this, the case. <clears throat> um, he wanted me to hold on to him. This is like, Daddy, I want you to carry me, but I don't want to be too close to you. No offense. Let's play. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Where did he go? Hey. There you are. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thousand years. So, uh, 
Germany was roughly where it is now in relation to the poles, but it was so warm in Germany that it was tropical. And there were crocodiles in Spitsbergen, which is up now, uh, <coughs> what was then, the Arctic Circle. I can like be a father and play with my kids and still take video. Right, maybe you can apply for Kickstarter. That voice you hear, the guy talking to me off camera, um, that was one of the friends I met up with, and I, I had just met that guy for the first time in person at this park. Um, he drove all the way from Michigan to come to this debating event, and um, his name was Aaron, and we ended up having dinner with him. And if you're a parent, you understand what going out to a restaurant with your kids is, especially if you have a toddler. It's like complete chaos um, many times. Not all the time, but anyway. This time it was chaos. My kids were climbing all over Aaron. We had a big booth, um, like a corner booth. They were climbing all over the guy, and the guy was so cool, he didn't care. Like He just let them play with him and climb all over him and you know, just totally bond with him. And uh, first time meeting him ever. So since they loved him so much, we started calling him Uncle Aaron. And by the end of the meal, now granted, this is the first time my kids have met him, we had our meal, and then he had to leave. You know, I had to go get his car and drive back to Michigan. And uh, my daughter started crying because Uncle Aaron was leaving. And it was hilarious because Uncle Aaron, you know, who's Uncle? We just, you just met the guy. <laughs> okay. Why are you crying? Anyway, it was cute. <laughs> nice job. Thanks for watching our downtown adventure part one part two is coming don't forget to subscribe and every moment is precious bye-bye <laughs> <laughs> see you next time you need to brush your teeth <laughs>